Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Chick Outdoors. Of course I'm Clayton Chick. This is the wonderful Whiteout Outdoors. And today we are lake trail fishing in the Escape 2800. We're gonna do the flip over laker fishing today. It's a little bit chillier today. So I'm gonna jump back inside. I set everything up, didn't do any filming of that at all, but we're gonna, like I said, jump inside and uh, hopefully crush a big mama lake trout. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna drop down. No aqua view today. We're a little bit deeper. We're 70 feet. So I don't feel like I'll get these fish to chase up as high, most likely. So I will, I'm not gonna run the aqua view camera today with no underwater shots, so I don't wanna risk it or I will risk getting snagged. But we are dropping down, we're fishing a, a little hump here, which I'll show off and talk a little bit about here at some point. Oh, oh, here we go. A little bit. Just bumped it. First fish of the morning. Bumped it again, little guy. Do I have to get a smaller tube more for you? There's a little guy. You're not welcome here. No, you're welcome here. I'll catch any fish. Time for breakfast. A little bagel, cream cheese on the heat hog today. I brought the small heater with me today, fishing in the flip over because I knew I wouldn't need as much heat. So we're gonna run the heat hog, small one. Fish coming up from the bottom. I'm gonna try a couple different views here. This is down, down view with a different color scheme. We're gonna just play around with some different settings and see what I like the best right now. This guy's really chasing. There's another fish flying up. Did you see that? Oh, out of nowhere. Two fish up there. One fish just flew straight up, but they're both smaller. There's two little guys messing around. Here's another fish coming in here. Can't tell size either. Uh, it looks a little, it's bigger. It's bigger than these other two, I think. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on. Yeah, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Come on, buddy. I'm not sure how I feel about this color scheme yet. Come on. No, he leveled. I don't like when he leveled. Oh, it's her noise. Can I keep coming. Come on, buddy. It's a decent fish. He just hardly touched it. Hardly. Come on. Maybe he'll eat it as it's falling. I don't think it's huge, but it's uh, it's decent for sure. Come on, follow it down, buddy. Follow it down. I'm slowing the slowing the line now with my fingers just a little bit, just to keep it close to him. Take him down in the dirt. Oh yeah, right there, right here. Okay, this is good. This is good. Come on. Come on, buddy. Eat it out of the dirt. Eat it out of the dirt. Come on. Come on. Chase up again, maybe? Come on, buddy. It's a good fish. Oh, we just rattled it a little bit. Come on. Got him. Got him. Okay. This one's better for sure. I think, actually, you know what? This is the first fish we've had hooked today. I've seen a couple smaller ones. Come on. Come on. I gotta loosen my drag a bit because I'm way too tight right now for that hook set. There you go. There you go. There you go. You got too tight of a drag, you risk pulling the hook, right? Especially if he's not hooked very good. There you go. Okay. I don't think it's like huge, but I've said that before, right? First fish of the day. Nothing wrong with that. I don't know how I feel about right now with the different color scheme. I think I like my blue better for the lake trout fishing. <laughs> Can we put a big laker? Oh, what's coming in here? another one racing in wants to see what's going on that looks geez that looks just oh, pretty good too wow another, oh i lost that one but maybe 
Maybe, maybe this other one will come and eat. Type my drag. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No way. No way. But we can get this other one to eat though, right? Hopefully. No way. This other one might even be bigger. No way. Oh, come on, buddy. This one's bigger though. This one's bigger than the other one. For sure it is. Come on. There's, I can't believe that fish came unbuttoned after that long of a fight. No, that's a small one there. I can't believe that fish came unbuttoned. Oh, no way. Come on. This one's bigger though, for sure. If I catch this fish, it'll be a good, a good thing that just happened. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, come here. I can't believe that. No. Sometimes the big ones get away. I really don't think I could have done anything different. I really don't. And then I don't catch this other one. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Oh, what is that? There's a bigger one that just came up here chasing a little one around. Oh boy. Yeah, that's a bigger fish. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Come over here. Come over here. Chase the bait down. That's a big one. It's a small one and a big one. I was just going to possibly put it back in forward mode because I'm not sure yet how I feel about this. I'm back to a different color scheme too. And yeah. yeah, this could be that big one that was just here after I lost him. Very possible. Where'd you go, buddy? That thing was chasing around that little one. Big time. Oh, where'd you go? Well, there's definitely some stuff going on right now. It's hopefully that this continues and this wasn't going to be my shot for the day. Oh, tough start. Tough start in terms of losing a big one and seeing some other big marks, but this is uh, encouraging for sure. Fish coming in that uh, looks a uh, decent fish. Oh yeah, I've got a small tube on right now. That's a good fish. Come on. It, oh, are you kidding me? Come on, it totally bumped it. Get off the ice, get off the ice. Come on, he bumped it for sure. Come on, come up with it, come up, come on. I just got a small two on right now. I thought maybe a smaller meal for the ones that have just been. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. Come on, buddy. I don't like that. I'm gonna drop it, maybe he'll chase it down. That's good, that's good. Sometimes they want it going down more than up. He just picked it up, he just picked it up. He just picked it up as it was falling. Like I said, sometimes they want it going down, not up, okay? Well, we've had some bad luck so far with one coming off, a big one, and then the other one's not eating. Now, hopefully, hopefully, oh yeah. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, this is good. I went to a small little bite-sized tube because they just have been so, like, they have not been very aggressive. Where are you going? Crazy start to the morning for sure. Okay, this one, is strong for sure i got i'm using my not my my heavier rod i'm using my uh mr big which i've, I've caught lots of big lake trout on in the past just i don't use it as often for big lake trout these days just because i use a bigger tube jig usually but this is only a 5 8 ounce tube jig he's down there he's 45 feet down 25 feet over he took a big 
a big run one way and I made a big circle here. Okay, I just hoping to keep this one buttoned, right? Like you saw how quick they can come off. That last one just popped. I'm still on down mode. Not sure if I'm gonna switch to forward mode or not. It's, it, it is fun to watch him on the down mode like that for sure. He's at 20 feet below the ice. I don't know how big, I don't think he's a giant, but he's uh, gonna be a, a nice one for sure. I'd like to at least see him here just to get an idea. Usually I don't, oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, beautiful orange fins too. Orange fins, gorgeous fish. Very nice fish. This is a beautiful fish. It's not huge, but it's nice. But gorgeous dark fins. Come on. Oh, that, that's a pretty nice fish. It's a pretty nice fish. Turn up, turn up, turn up. There we go, there we go. That's a good one right there. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, yes. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this hook out. Oh, it's hardly right in the corner. Okay. Hook is out. Do I have enough room for bump board right there? I sure do. Oh, that's actually perfect. Okay, we're gonna pick it up, measure it, show it off, and then put it back. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, not super fat. Decently, decent length, but not a fat one. I've definitely caught much fatter. 41 inches. Okay, well, a lean 41 incher. Big head on that thing. Look at that giant noggin on him. Him or her. Okay, that's long enough. Lean, lean 41. Gorgeous fish. Look how fired up. That's how those fish should release. Awesome. Look at him go all the way back down. That's so cool. Vapor trail. Like a rocket. Oh, awesome. I'll show the jig off, but just a tiny little tube jig, four incher. That's what I'm using right there. A little glow four inch tube from Send It Outdoors. And I've actually been glowing it up here. I've got an ice hole power uh, glow cup, a bigger one that's better for um, tube jigs. And that's powered up by the Dakota lithium battery there. Just got it plugged in. And yeah, little four inch tube jig. Sealed the deal on that one. You don't always need a big bait. Sometimes when the fishing, when the fish are a little bit more negative neutral, sometimes smaller is better. Well, that was awesome. Wow, 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 wow. I don't know what to say. It could be the same fish that was following that other big one around when I was fighting it, right? There's a very, very good chance that that fish was in the area still and came back. Or the fish that was chasing around that smaller fish. He was definitely an active fish, no doubt. And he came by and ate. Ate it as it was falling. I noticed that lots with Lakers. Like if they don't eat it as it's going up, Sometimes they'll eat it as it's going downwards. So keep that one in your back pocket right there. That was awesome. There's another fish down there right now too, but I don't know. I think there's two smaller ones. Two smaller ones. Well, I'd say the one that I lost was around that same size, maybe even a bit smaller. It definitely didn't seem to like run as much. I was using my bigger rod though at the, at the time. So it's really, really hard to say, right? Like that's uh. The 3000 Stratic is definitely a lot more powerful drag than the 2500. It's actually crazy the difference between the drag from the 25 to the 3000 in, uh, on the Stratic anyway. That 3000 you can cinch down pretty, pretty good. This one, I have it pretty tight and that fish was able to, to pull line like a, like a horse. Like, just like a horse. Not a crazy fat fish. I've caught way larger ones but that was a, a pretty beautiful fish that's for sure big head gorgeous i like to work the whole water column as i go the whole time and yeah you just never know you never know what's going to come in this is that fish that was crawling on the bottom it's uh 
a smaller one, maybe medium size. Yeah. See, even the small ones, they, uh, they're hard to hook up on a small tube jig too. They, they tend a lot of times to bite at the front half of the tube and you could put like a, a, a treble on the bottom or something like that. You can make a rig or you can buy some jig heads like that, that have the hooks on the bottom, or you could do a trailer hook, but it just doesn't really like bother me that much to, uh, to catch those ones. So if they get off in my mind, they get off. It's not a big deal, but this guy is going to be caught is what it seems like. Well, we went from a, a big one to a, a little one. You'd be a good eater right there. <laughs> you can go see ya. Got a little bit different setup in the flip over. I found this table from Costco and I'm like, that table is gonna go perfect in the corner of the flip over. I can put the arc lab pole below the table I can keep my batteries on there, live scope, cup for some water. And yeah, I can just keep everything right here organized. It's eye level, which is quite nice instead of staring down all the time. I enjoy that, a glow cup up there. And then, uh, yeah, what else I got going on here? I have some uh, wingman hub shelves here, one on this side. Of course, I've got one on this side. Got a cargo net, got some hooks to hang hoodies or jackets on, anything like that. I've got my scoop. I've got my hockey stick there in case my line gets stuck on the edge of the ice down there at all. Bump board right in the front. This is, this is nice. The, this shelter, the flip over, I have lots of room here. It's like really, it's really square. And I wasn't a big fan of ice fishing out of a flip over in the past unless you went like really big to like the the clam three three hundred or the otter resort those were big enough in their lake trout fish the lodge that i had worked it was good but i i felt cramped in it for like fishable space i find even though like if a shelter says it's like okay it's got 30 square feet if it's like this that whole that bottom that that square that three four square feet in front is almost useless because you can't put your hole that close to the to the end this one yeah, i could even get my hole closer if i wanted it but this is how i what i ended up with here and i did do a double 10 but never did the the best job at the bottom my blades were slipping so it's bigger down there in the bottom than 10 inches it's probably like a 12 inch hole so it is bigger which is better but the this one was going down at a, a bad angle and that's another reason why it's harder to put the aqua view down right now too is it's just going to get too close to my line and be at a bad angle so i'll definitely do the aqua view again at some point but i am i also said i'm in 67 68 feet and i'm most of these fish are going to eat probably further down i'm not going to get them as high when i was sitting in 45 feet 50 feet as soon as i bring those fish up 30 feet 20 feet you can start to see them and with the underwater camera here i'm just not going to get that option yeah it's my day it's my day of lake trail fishing we've got two fish lost the big one things are good not gonna not gonna complain at all got three fish here right now two smaller ones and one medium-ish i think oh 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 biggest one to chase that down hard come on pick it up got it no he dropped it pick it up chase it come on no not that one i want the one that over oh, right here right here right here come on right here come on oh might took a slight it's not a huge one but it's not bad come on oh come on eat it yeah maybe he'll eat it going down right i should go back to my smaller tube again he just picked it up he just picked it up he just picked it up again that's another fish going down <laughs> not huge this one i think he's probably like a in, a in those 30s oh he's gone again are you kidding me come on come on it's not that big 
why it's hard to keep them buttoned. Maybe I'll get him to go down. Chase it down one more time. He seemed to really like that. Pick it up going down. Oh, I got stuck on my bale. He likes that going down a lot. Come on. He's like racing it down to the bottom. Okay. Come on. He just picked it up off the bottom. <laughs> okay. This fish gave me another chance. And he's not huge. He's just a, a nice one, I think, like in the, that 30 inch range, right? Like maybe a bit bigger than 30 inches, but he uh, he ate once and I lost him. And then he gave me another chance. He liked it, chasing down. Oh, it comes another one there, checking, see what's going on. He's smaller though, I'd say. Yeah, this is, fish isn't huge, but uh, it's, a, it's a lake trout. We love lake trout, don't we? Come on, where are you? He's gonna have a pile of energy when he gets up here, isn't he? Got him hooked fairly good, I think, the second time. First time, I clearly didn't have him hooked that good. Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, kind of what I figured for size. Oh, don't get that hook stuck on that, that ice. Swing up, swing up, yeah. Nice fish, nice fish. got it right in the top of the beak here Ooh, hardly hook i'm surprised that did not come out we'll show him off quick and get him back but a nice like probably 32 easy he's got so much energy so i brought him up pretty green 32 33 something like that nice nice lake trout awesome okay you'll have a pile of energy so we'll just put you back at your tail underneath the water here so you don't make a mess and we'll watch you go back down on the live imaging here, possibly. We'll turn. There it goes, right there. Keep an eye on him. Not that it's going to matter to anything. Plus, he's obviously a healthy fish. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Right there. Right there, swimming back down. Slowly swimming back down. Pouting. Pouting because he didn't get his meal. And that one was on the middleman with a, a Colorado blade here. I have attached. He sells some jig heads now. I say he, it's uh, Send It Outdoors. He sells some jig heads, some one and two ounce jig heads. This is a two ounce that have um, a trailer hook or a wire with a, a split ring on it. And you can put uh, a treble on there if you wanted to and have like a trailer hook, right? But I was like, you know what? I don't use a lot of trailer hooks, but I'm gonna add a Colorado blade on that and play around a little bit and yeah. Look at my funky color, my funky colored Colorado blade on the bottom of that. That's just one that I had for uh, a walleye spinner rig. And I was like, you know what? We're gonna throw that thing right on the back of the tube jig. Well, it's a good day. I'm not gonna complain at all with today. It's, I think it's like 1230, so it's almost lunch time. We're gonna cook up a burger on the heat hog well it's already cooked we're gonna warm up a burger on the heat hog hopefully we still get a chance at some bigger lakers today and that wasn't like my my one shot today right where and obviously i landed one so i'm not going to complain but a lot of times i find the bigger ones will roll through the area once throughout the day and i definitely had some big lakers come through earlier in the day so there's a good chance that was my one shot for the day We'll, we'll have to see. Got a fish down here. Draw. Oh, there's two of them. That fish just flew in there. You see that? That was crazy. Ate the tube jig. Scared the one fish. Two smaller ones. Oh, get away, 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 get away. See if I can, see if I can drop by these two smaller fish without getting caught. That one's trying. Oh, he just picked it up. He's got it. Oh, he's peeling. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Little Lakers are intense sometimes. Can you guys get away? Get away. Bring your mama. Bring your mama. <laughs> Just having my burger and a fish flew in here as my jig was sitting there. 
right midway in the water column. <laughs> Isn't that something? I saw a little mark there. So I just started to drop down the tube jig and yeah, this fish ended up flying in there. That's funny. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, you get up here. The thing's got that tube jig inhaled. Gone. When it's, when they're, uh, when it's a smaller jig, they can definitely get it down the hatch. He's got so much energy here. Hook pop and uh, quick show off. Oh, she's burping. She's burping and back in without making a mess. That's funny. Okay, we're catching some fish. This little glow tube jig is hot. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> How epic is that? Oh, I thought if they're going to be small, I might as well race to the surface and have some fun with them. That's awesome. You can let go now. You can let go now. Okay, 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 okay. He can't let go. He's caught on the side of the face. Come off. Come off somehow. Come off. Like I said, I thought if you're going to be small, I'd reel up quick and have some fun with them right below the ice like that. And the funny thing was, is he wasn't there. He wasn't there. I looked up once quick to see if I see him on the unit, if he's going back down. I saw the flash go by, so then I just focus with my head camera. I'm hoping if the head camera's got that shot, all of a sudden just pop. I think this one's bigger, I think. Nah, it's not much bigger, just a little bit bigger. Not much, a little bit. A little bit bigger than those other two. Still not huge, but I was just turning the live scope and looking around, see what else was out there. And one was coming in from the deeper water. Like I said, it's a, it's a little bit better one, but just not. Not huge, bigger than those other two marks that were down there though. It's burping up a storm right now. Oh, don't come up back, don't come up backwards. <laughs> come up the right way. Come up this way, there we go, there we go. Nice dark one right there. Orange fin, real, real dark. Beautiful. You're having a good day? I've uh, caught quite a few so far today. I'm not sure exactly how many. Half a dozen or so. I've pulled away from a lot of different Lakers though today too. Some smaller ones. Just in hopes of a bigger one would come by. I have stayed so far with the smaller tube jig though still. I went back to the bigger one for a little bit. And I uh, wasn't getting any love. So I went back to the smaller tube jig here again. And we're grinding it out. It's about 3 o'clock. Got a couple hours left. I feel like... I don't know what, the, what, what what should I talk about yet in this video. Oh, we're going to have the, the Ask Donkey, Dr. Donkey Clayton, uh, some questions. We'll go through an old YouTube video, find some questions. We'll have that little segment on here right away. Uh, maybe we'll do that actually right meow. I'm sorry, are you saying meow? Am I saying meow? Okay, Ask Dr. Donkey Clayton questions from YouTube. This is a little segment here where I've done, I think, now the third video in a row. Where I go to a previous YouTube video, I find three or four questions out of the video, answer them on the channel, and then maybe mention a nice video, sometimes a clown comment. We'll we'll see. But anyways, first question: What ice cleats do you like, Clay? So I have, I think they're called the croakers or something like that. I'll put a, a picture and image of them here. They're the ones that I found to be the best. Uh, they're, they're good for the oversized boots. I think I'm wearing the XL or the XXL. I'll, I'll put a, li a list here for what I, what are the, or the ones I'm wearing right now anyway, for size anyway. But those right there, the, the image you ha I have here is the ice cleats that I wear. And they're the ones that I found to be the best so far for what I do. Um, don't walk on any like tile with them or inside because you can slip for sure. And I take them off when I go inside my vehicle as well. But those are the ice cleats that I like. What are those boil bags called? So in some recent videos, I've done lots of cooking on the ice. And the boil bags are from Big Smoke Barbecue in Steinbach, Manitoba. And he is shipping to Canada now. So you can send him a message on Instagram and you can get boil bags shipped out right in Canada. Nothing in the United States that I know of yet, but those are the boil bags that I uh, use. I just saw a fish flash in way, way up here. He just flashed in. 
Jake's are out here somewhere, I'm sure. I'm just going to jig right here. There he's over at 15 feet already. He's coming, look at this, like a rocket. Ah, uh, he's smaller. He's smaller. He's smaller. You'll catch him right here, look at that. How oh, wicked was that? Oh, okay, you can go. That was amazing. <laughs> those high flyers like that, watch them on the live scope because you reel up, you can almost catch those ones like every time. I just like to see that one just eat more than anything. Anyways, back to questions. I'm going through comments to find another question, but I found a clown comment I've got to mention, or I've got to bring up. None of your fishing bloggers say where you are fishing at. No one is going to take your fish if you share locations. Um, no, that's exactly what they'll do if we always share all the locations where we're fishing. They will come fish those spots. And I, I know that from firsthand experience. So don't be a clown. What kind of reel do you use on the run and gun? I was using a Stratic 1000 and a Diesel 1000 as well from Frostbite. The Stratic is a Shimano reel. I've been testing the new Diesel they have out this year. It's been pr a pretty good improvement from what I thought from their last year's reel. They changed the drag or the, the washer in it from a felt that was a carbon drag or a carbon washer. They changed it to a felt washer. And I feel now that the drag is a little bit smoother and I've been testing and using those and really liking them. But on this video, I believe I was using the Stratic 1000. I'm just getting set up with LiveScope Plus LVS34 and Echomap 95 SV. What size battery would you suggest to run this? I gotta say, I enjoy your videos. Well, thank you very much for the nice comment. And I would say you wanna go with at least a 23 amp hour battery. Um, with a nine inch screen, the 23 amp hour will last all day for you. There's not a question about it. When I say all day, I'm talking like 10, 12 hours. You should get out of that 23 amp hour for sure. We had a couple questions. We had a clown comment. And now I'm just gonna pull up a random nice comment. This video was my first camping video of the year. There were so many nice comments on it. And uh, I'll bring, I'll, I'll mention this one right here. Clay, you're a class act. Your content is always clean and family friendly and you produce fish like no one else. You do an incredible job. Wow, keep it up, buddy. Thank you so much for the nice comment. Uh, I, I did respond to that one, but I just wanna note that I do try to read all the comments in all the videos. And I try to get back to as many as I can. Sometimes if I put a video out and I'm on the road filming, I don't necessarily get to any of those comments in the video, but I do try to read them, especially when I'm sitting in front of a screen right now and there's not much going on at times. I might scroll through comments and read them. So thank you so much for all the comments on that and the questions. If you want your questions answered in a future YouTube video, leave them below in this video and I will answer three or four questions in a future video. And we're just gonna keep this segment going as long as people enjoy watching it. So, and that concludes another segment of Dr. Donkey Clayton's Q and A. We gotta come up with a good name for this at some point like that. If anybody's got some names for the little question segment, leave that below as well. Look at this. This is crazy to watch. Let's see if you can get him come out the hole. Let's see if you can get him come out the hole. No way. That is unreal. Let's see if I can guide him up the hole again. Look at, look at. I pulled him into the hole. That is amazing. As you can tell, I'm not trying to catch him. Man. Yeah, 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 oh, okay. Could you imagine if I get him to come all the way up? I think that's my new goal in life now is to, oh no, no, is to catch a laker without uh without actually hooking him he had had the back end he was like holding on to the tail or the the spinner at that point that was cool 
think I think I I think that last one scared him away. <laughs> that was cool. I think that's my new whole goal in life is to try to get a laker to jump up the hole. Oh he's not done yet. He's still around here. Yeah, I don't know who new whole goal in life is to get a laker to jump up jump out, out of the hole, out of the ice, up the hole. Come on. Come on. Oh no, let go. So he's got the head. The head of the tube jig. Yeah, come on. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. That is so funny. He never had the hook at all. That would have been crazy if I could have grabbed him. Well, that will wrap up the video for the day. Zero complaints with the day. I caught a nice one. I lost a nice one. I had some good action. I had some cool moments of a fish right below the ice. And yeah, we will be still doing some Laker fishing yet this year. Who knows when or what, but we'll get out and do some more Laker fishing for sure. I uh, appreciate everybody for watching and don't forget, get outside. <laughs>